Okay, so keys. Keys is a very hot topic. Depending on your van, you can have four keys, you could have five keys potentially. So our main keys are, we've got the one black key which is like an egg shape there. That there will fit all exterior black locks on all opening hatches, doors, all that sort of thing on the exterior. The second black key, which is a rounded top edge to it, as you can see there, that key is relevant to our door. And I'll show each one of these in, in how we use these. So the door um, in the door lock itself is where that's used. In this particular van, the Quantum Plus again, we've got two water tanks on this van. So we've got two water cap keys. Um, one is for the front tank, one is for the rear tank. Both of the keys have an inscribed little mark in the top corner of them to show which keys, which quite simply swap it over if it doesn't work. The extra keys that you could potentially have is if you option up to go for a generator box, uh, you will pick up a, an another key that is relevant to the generator box. It's a silver key, a little rounded one. Uh, and in the matrix series, you will find that the gas cylinders, they're located in a different compartment. They have a round black key with a red insert into it. It's quite a, a little bit longer key uh, relevant to locking the gas compartment. So there's your um, Simply just quite basic with the keys. One suits one area, the other suit to the door only. So to open up all these locks, these are locked here at the moment. So in this particular instance, we're opening up the exterior kitchen. I'll turn that key there. It only goes to 90 degrees and I'll be able to unlock that there. And I'll do that on each successive lock all the way through. Locking it, it's the same with that again and just putting it in, turning it back the opposite way. That's locked, we can't open that there. Okay. Good? Yep. Door key. So the door key, as I said, the rounded tops there, is only relevant to the actual lock here. The other half, the egg-shaped key, the oval-shaped key, does all these other locks. So to open the door, I'd need to open this one, that one there, turning the locks, and that undoes for the dust sealing side. The door's still closed off there, so I will effectively undo our key on there, um, and that opens that part of the latch part, okay? You'll notice the second lock there, that's to do with the deadlock. So I've just closed that a full 180 degrees and I can turn that back to 90. I can undo that one, but the deadlock's holding the door. So effectively you will lock both of these when you travel away, um, recommended, or if you stop somewhere, you know, go to a shopping center, you'd obviously keep these both locked and you would have these locked as well. So even though, Travelling wise, we would have these closed, but it, it just get into the habit of having all of those closed off. I'll open that back up again. I've now got the door open. Now, with the door, we've also got a secondary set of locks here. So these will actually still that oval shape, egg shape key again. I'll unlock that lock itself. And now I can open that door, still have the main door shut, I can actually hold back the screen door so I've got airflow through, but I can still have that lock from the inside or I can have it locked from the outside. On the inside, you'll notice on the inside if we were uh, going in for the night, we would then lock with this little red tag here from the inside. So that's that deadlock sliding across that I use the key on the outside. I can now manually operate that on the inside to open or close that.